One of these people is my biggest bully, Billy. And we're gonna put them through a series of challenges. But can you figure out who the real bully is? First question. What is Billy's teacher called? Spoiler alert, it's Mr. Peterson. 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 Billy Peterson. <laughs> Hmm, forcing to hesitate. Peterson. I don't see why you need to know that. Uh, because it's part of the investigation number six. Come on, play along. Okay, Guido, so four and six both answered incorrectly. But we need more information. So it's time for the first, first challenge. challenge. Wacker Steve. Each contestant has their own room with a statue of me. And they have 10 seconds to destroy that statue as much as they like. Let's see it, number one. Whoa, looks like I'm using a slingshot. Yeah, and it's actually dealing decent damage. That was impressive, but they only managed to destroy 30% of the statue. I'm sure the real Billy would do better than that. Number two, you're up. Uh, wait, is that vacuum cleaner? He's gonna suck all the marks in. Well, this is definitely an interesting strategy. Looks like it's paying off. Oh, out of time, and they only destroyed 24%. Well, let's see if number three can do any better. Whoa, that is a lot of TNT. Number three, let's just talk about this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, my beautiful face. Oh, -ho -ho! yeah, 60%. Uh, nice job, three. Next is number four. Now, remember, Guido, their answer was very suspicious. So let's pay close attention to them. Number four, it's time to... Oh, my what gosh, is that a tank? Whoa! -ho -ho! Okay, this is crazy. Yeah, this is definitely the most destructive contestant so far. And that is 87% of me gone. Oh, number five. Uh, wait, where's number five? Hey, look. Come on, there they are. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Gotta say, I was not expecting that. And last but not least, we have number six. Wait, number six hasn't destroyed any of it. He's just graffitied all over it. Zero percent destruction. Pretty lame if you ask me. I agree, Guido, which is why number six, you are hereby eliminated. Number four may have destroyed the most, but where the heck would Billy get a tank from? Oh, that is a very good point. There's no way in the multiverse that Billy would ever be able to acquire a tank. So, number four, before I pull this lever and eliminate you from the competition, I want to see who you really are. Sergeant Shaw? Leader of the police? Ah, I knew the tank was taking it too far. Sorry, Sarge, but you are hereby eliminated from the competition. Looks like he doesn't have a leg to stand on. Next question! What is Billy's least favorite school subject? It's math. I hate all of them. Yeah, school sucks. I agree, especially if Steve is there too. Come on, guys, all together now. We hate Steve! We hate Steve! We hate Steve! Enough! I can't believe it, but the contestants are already rebelling. You guys think you're such a great little team, don't you? Well, guess what? In the next challenge, you'll be facing off against each other. This is Bully Battle. The contestants are going to war. There are weapons scattered around the arena, and the contestants have to use them to be the last bully standing. But they have to be careful because as they fight, a barrier will be shrinking in, reducing the battle space. Hey, this reminds me of something. Uh, no it doesn't. Anyway, I can hear gunfire. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so it looks like it's number one just jumping around like a headless chicken. I have no idea what they're doing. And, oh, wait, who is that? It looks like number six. Oh, where are they going? They're gonna hide in the water. Ha! What a coward. Billy would never do that. But here no, comes number no. two and... Oh, ho, ho. Gotcha! How did they get a rocket launcher? And now two is going on a real rampage. <laughs> but someone has a surprise waiting for them. It's number five with the sneak attack. You be better than that. Yeah, it looks like the fight has been forced into the central area. Whoa! Oh my gosh, they're really going for it. Oh, what a hit! A winner could be decided right here. Holy cow, that was crazy, dude! <laughs> that was so easy! And the winner is number two! Oh! Woohoo! I won! Oh, it's number six. I kind of forgot about them. 
Are you kidding me, number six? There's no way that Billy would hide for the entire competition. Okay, this time, Guido, I am going to eliminate... Actually, Billy is sneaky. Maybe that actually won't be his strategy. Ah, uh, I guess you're right. You've bought yourself some time, number six. I recommend number one. They weren't jumping around like crazy. It looked like they'd never even fired a gun before. That makes sense. Number one, before I eliminate you from the competition, reveal your identity. <gasps> Austin! Get break, Steve. You actually thought I was Billy. Yep, you really got me. Good to see you, Austin. Good to see you, too. Oh, you have pretty eyes. Who the heck was that guy? Next question. Who hates me more? Billy or his sister? Billy should get really defensive about this. Me, of course. We both hate Steve equally. She's a little more passionate than I am. Ugh, I can't stand Steve. He's the worst. Now, three and five were a little too calm for my liking, Guido. If I said that to the real Billy, he would freak out. So we need another challenge. Welcome to Detention Escape. The contestants will start off in a classroom, and they must escape it by completing this deadly parkour course. Now, to keep this fair, I'm going to decide who goes first by using this random wheel. Number six, Yara. Okay, come on. You got this. Here they go. It looks like they're not really completing this super quickly. Bro yeah, they almost seem a little nervous. I mean, I don't blame them. This is a super deadly parkour course. Okay, can they make it onto the spinning one? Yes, they did. Okay, now we've got this jump, a few more, and then the swinging axes of doom. Oh, it's going to be a close one. Okay, wow, they're actually surviving. This is insane. Oh, they're laying down. That's smart. And here they go. The finish line is within reach. And our first bully has completed the challenge. Next up is number two. Let me show you how it's done. Let's see if they're as good at this one as they were at the battle. Oh, my gosh. They're actually moving really fast. Yeah, you sure they haven't done this course before? All right, here they come for the swinging axes. They're a little bit slower. Nope, they are just as fast as they go. Wow. Here they come. Five few you jump. You have to do better than that. Next up is number five. Okay, so number five is very fast and very confident as well. You thought that was impressive? But is that how Billy would have Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got time for all that. Uh, let me make a shot. Yeah. What the? Hey, that's against the rules. <laughs> but I guess Billy is a rule breaker. Yeah, but would he even have the strength for that? <laughs> Boom. All done. Which means, last but not least, we have number three. Let's see how they do. They're still starting off pretty fast. This is pretty impressive. But it looks like... Oh, yep, it looks like they just fell in. Uh, oh, yeah, that is, uh, that is less than ideal. Oh, man, this is going to be a tough one. You see, three did fall in, but Billy doesn't win at everything all the time. Number two was really fast, but so was number five. Number six was a bit too slow. Uh, I can't decide. Well, let's just think about this. Would Billy really be able to do that? Uh... Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, uh, okay, I've come to a decision. Number five, you were eliminated from the competition. Reveal your identity. Rocco? Oh, come on. I was one of the fastest. This just isn't fair. You know what? Let me tell you a secret. Secret? What secret? How about I reveal number two's identity? It's... There! That shut them up! Ah, uh, Guido, this really makes things tricky. Number two could be Billy, and he knows if I find him, then I'll win. Yeah, he would definitely not want that. Or it's just someone trying to survive all the way to the end. Ugh. We need more information. Guido, let's pay close attention to two's answer here. Next question, guys. If you saw me in public, what would you do? I'd grab him by his tiny little legs, and smash him into the ground until he's a pile of goop dripping against the road! Whoa. Uh, number three? Uh, I got him. Duh. Now that is a bit more of a normal answer. And number six? You don't even want to know what I'd have planned for him. Jeez, Guido, two was super aggressive. I think they need to calm down with a little creative therapy. Build battle. Contestants have 10 minutes to build a message for any Steve fan out there in the multiverse. 
Or Guido fan. I have lots of those. <laughs> yeah, sure you do. Okay. Time is up, everyone. Number two. I'm coming to check out yours first. All right, so let's see exactly what we've got here. Wait, what is that? It's Steve. He's been in an accident, and now all of his bones are broken. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> uh, not really. I mean, what am I even wearing? Is that... Oh, it's a workout outfit. I guess I was, like, jogging along the road and I got hit by a car or something. And Oh, now my legs are detached. Okay, this gets like an F-. minus. This is a bit too crude for me. Number three, it is your turn. Hopefully, it's better than that. Okay, doors opening. Let's see what we've got. Oh, jeez. What is this? D minus, so immature. And last, we have number six. Open up, let me see what you've come up with. All right, we've got, uh, this is just a statue of me. There's nothing special about it. Oh yeah? Watch this. What the? Ow, ow, hey, get away from me, you get out of here, scram. Ugh. Oh, stupid bees. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Steve? I give this a B minus. Did you see what I did there? So yeah, in my opinion, there's only really one contestant that I can eliminate, and that is number three, because your build was so immature. But before I pull this lever and eliminate you, who are you really? Oh, come on! My build was great! Actually, it was kind of poopy. Bye, Chris! Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Mmm, Guido, suddenly I'm a little bit hungry. But that will have to wait because we are down to our final two contestants, and I want to put them head-to-head -head straight away. Next challenge! It is time for Spleef, the ultimate one-on-one -on -one challenge. As you can see, Guido, the contestants are digging the ground beneath them, but only one of them can survive. Hold on, are we in a volcano? Yeah, uh, honestly, Guido, it's not really relevant. Let's just focus on the competition. Wait a second, dude, they're actually fighting. This is crazy. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, what the? Looks like two has some serious strength. Yeah, what's that all about? Oh, things are really heating up. And they're running out of space. Oh my gosh, they're right in the corner. Oh, oh, oh it looks like two is the winner. Hold on, what is going on over here, guys? Hey, hey, quit arguing. Stop it. Enough. Man, Guido, they both really want to win. So it's time for some quick fire questions. Question one, what is Billy's sister called? Uh, her name, I, uh... Are you stupid? Her name is Katie. Six is right. How could two get that wrong? Next question, does Billy hate Steve or Guido more? I hate them both equally. I hate six. Why, you little... Ah, oh, this is too tough of a choice. Um, okay, let me just think about what I know. Six has been a lot more sneaky... And Rocco was going to expose number two, but he could have been exposing Billy's identity. Two was also extremely strong. They were just flinging six all over the place. And in the end, being strong was what got Rocco eliminated. So maybe, just maybe, six, I think you're the real Billy. Yes! Oh my gosh, I actually guessed it right. We did it. Man, I was so close. Yeah, you almost had me, Arnetta. I really thought... Oh, come on, Steve. Back to doing what I do best. It's good to have you back, Billy.